The next icon will be this iTunes Store icon. It will be quite simple because we will reuse the note shape from the previous icon. So jump back to the first page, select this note icon, copy paste it to the second page, resize it a little bit, make it smaller, just like this. We will tweak it this later. So grab the background shape, paste it to the second page, move it next to the iTunes Store icon, and we want to fill this shape with a gradient fill. So change the shape fill to gradient fill, select the first color, and change it to some pinkish red one, maybe this one. The second color will be more to the violet, maybe this one, and we can see that the second one is too bright and too light, so we will adjust it a little bit, make it darker by dragging this slider a little bit down. Okay. Also the first one can be a little bit darker, so we will use the same method, make it darker a little bit, and you can see that our color is too much saturated, so we can decrease the saturation by changing the color model to use saturation lightning and decreasing the saturation just like this. Okay, and we have almost the same color. So we'll move it over the icon, hide it for a while, or of course drag it, drag it under these text boxes, hide it for a while, adjust this note symbol size, move this free form for, to the right position, insert new circle, draw it with the shift key pressed, so we are drawing a circle, set the fill to no fill, keep the outline color to blue so we can see it better, and increase the width to the right size, and when we are satisfied with the width, change the outline color to white, hide our background shape, group everything together, Rename it to iTunes Store icon and move it to the first page.